Good e- afternoon, Phoenix. I almost said good evening, didn't I? It's 2 o'clock, Sunday, time for Need to Read. Reading for fun, profit, and understanding. We're coming to you live from the studios in downtown Phoenix at 3rd Street and Palm Lane. And it's 110 degrees out there. That's what I hear. And so that's, um, it's hot weather. Good for Chuckawalla viewing. Only not in the middle of the day, the hottest part of the day, they wisely go under, under the rocks as well. Uh, but in the mornings and in the afternoons, as the sun is going down, they come back out to get some, get some, get some rays. And they're an extremely, uh, uh, interesting animal to observe because they, uh, the males have those bright orange tails and the, and the very dark bodies, often black bodies. The females are very drab and not often seen. But the males are rather majestic and they can be up to 18, even two feet long. Um, there's the, the carrot tail, the chuckawalla is indigenous to this area of, of Arizona. And uh, there's several other species of, of chuckawallas all the way down to the tip of the Baja California in, uh, uh, and, uh, in the Sea of Cortez or, uh, on the, uh, Pacific shore. This show, of course, is, is, um, and I want to greet the, uh, online, uh, online viewers. Um, and this show, as usual, is about reading, uh, but it's not just about reading. It's about using language and understanding language. Reading, of course, is the best way to um, get the thoughts of one person to another. I mean, you can listen to them, but you can read what a person has written much faster than that person could read it out loud to you and say it again. So that's why reading is such a a valuable tool. You can take a book, and anytime you want to just open a a section of it and read it, it's there for you to read and read quickly. But if you have tapes of somebody giving a reading that, that takes considerably longer to listen to those tapes than it does for you to sit down and read it by sight. But, you know, in today's today's environment, it's not bad to have audio books so that when you are doing things that you can't read while you're doing them, but you can listen while you're doing them. That's what radio is all about. That's what audio is all about. That's why um, even though we're coming to you live on the Internet and you're seeing, you're seeing me in an image, it really comes down to that radio makes you imagine in your mind. It makes your mind work. So... It's, that's why radio plays were so uh, were so popular, but now that we have vi- video, it, 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 it the mind gets a little bit lazy. And I would advise, because of that, you don't have radio plays and stuff like that anymore to to force your mind to make an imagination. Like you know, when they're using coconuts to simulate horse hooves, you know, you you hear it, you see you hear that, and then in your mind you see horse hooves, you see horses. Because you heard something that sounds very similar to it, and also as part of the story that you've accepted, you've accepted that part of that this is a story. So you're in, you've entered into that into the, your in your imagination, your mind immediately kicks into that gear. And since we don't have much of that left anymore, and it's all in mutual mutual visual, mutual video, then I suggest you force yourself to read, to so keep that skill intact, and also to rediscover the value of reading as opposed to just listening. And it's important to do, to understand. So that way, you know, when you hear somebody say something and you think, well, you know, that doesn't make any sense because the way you said it, you know, it, it means something, it, it might mean something else. So that's why I'm saying you keep those skill, reading skills and make sure that you don't let words, words just be put on you like as if they're the truth without examining them. Uh, this, this show is uh, sponsored, uh, in great part by Surgenics, the maker of Surforce, biological injectable material for damaged joints and tissues, which I, I just gave a testimonial to uh, earlier. We recorded one and I'd like to just make a real quick run right now. They injected into my knees. My knees felt fantastic. I haven't been this free from pain for a long time. So if you're interested in that, you can contact me and there is there is uh, financing available too because it's not covered by most insurances yet. It's still in trials or something, but there is financing available. And so you could contact me at need to read KFNX 1100 at Gmail. That's need to read KFNX 1100 at Gmail. <clears throat> and you can go to market madness radio network, market madness, marketing madness, excuse me, marketing madness, uh, radio network. And you can see the shows. We're streaming live right now, I do believe, on the, on, on the Internet. And in, you can find past shows. And then there's also uh, some shows that uh, Sarah has put on. And uh, so 
uh, I'm not really sure what's all on the network. I'm on there, and we're also going on iTunes, I think. I'm pretty sure that uh, Sarah said that we're going to be going on iTunes. So we're not sure. The dra- we might even change days and here on this show, here on this station. I'm not really sure about all that. But we'll let you know about that, and we're definitely on. We're definitely uh, streaming live right now. And uh, in the next segment, I'm going to have my my two grandsons. They're going to be on the guest lines, and they're going to they're going to react to the things I say. You know how young people are. They're going to. They're, it's going to be fun, and and I want to get the young people involved. It's very important that you get it, participate in the political theater because the people that vote are the people. Who are going to decide who's in government and the people, and then, and those people are going to decide who they want to, to do what up there. So, you know, the, if you're not voting, you're, you're, you're shorting yourself. So please vote. And also this show is, is sponsored in part by Attention to Detail Mobile Hand Car Wash, where my son and I and some, uh, we do the, the work is like, you know, way we'd want somebody to do our car if we were paying for it. And this morning, my God, real early this morning, we did a 30 or 40 foot school bus. And yeah, man, it had like 50 seats in it or something. I don't know. It was a lot of seats, but uh, we knocked it out and, 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 and it was, and did a good job on it. And, that, and we might post those pictures online, but that's unimportant because we got to get back to the important things. And, uh, let me see here. Uh, we got a few minutes before the first break. And then in the second, in the second segment, uh, my, uh, grandsons, Andrew and Nick will come on and react to some of the things that I might say on here. And we'll try to have some entertaining discussions. Um, I'll try to look at the uh, the camera once in a while so the people that are looking at it online uh, feel like that 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 we're paying attention to them. Uh, it's not very visual today, although I'm wearing my World Peace shirt as usual, and that's because I'm for World Peace, but not in the in the wishy washy way that most people most of the peace nicks are thinking about. Uh, we should have World Peace from the elim- by way of eliminating those people who break World Peace. Those dictators and strong men and, 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 uh, you know, all those people across the world, they're constantly making wars and stuff. So that's, that's w- what I mean by world peace. I want to talk about three, 3D printer guns and with the, the truth about 3D printing guns, uh, the truth about the fake news being the enemy of the people, whether they really are or not, and what, the, what is really said. I mean, they're, they're lying about what Trump said about it and, so I, I, I think that the, most of the news is got a slant to it. You have to take everything you hear and read and, and examine it and, and put it up against the facts and stuff in, in your own experience as well. And, uh, oh, and after watching Mike Wallace on Fox News this morning or whatever it was, you know, the, the Fox and ABC and NBC and CBS all have their Sunday morning news where they tell us what's happening in the world and whatnot, right? After watching that bunch of lying people coming on, I, I, I switched over and was watching um, Wild Hawaii on the Geographic Channel, I think. And I'll tell you, it was a relief. It helped helped calm me down. It was great watching what's going on underneath the ocean and watching those incredible pillow lava that comes out the, where the lava is actually coming out under the ocean. So it's like cooling off as soon as it hits the water. They had all kinds of different fish. They had that one... That one uh, that one uh, uh, shrimp that has that ha- that hammer that he hits he hits with and stuff that's incredible. So that 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 was really great because that's the reality there. Things that are good, and when you listen to, when you watch the news and stuff, there's so much lying going on. It's just it's just it's just pathetic. It makes you you makes you it makes you sick to your stomach because you're thinking, well, you know what they just said is bull, and yet nobody's nobody's challenging it. And so I'm here to challenge what was said about 3D printer guns today on Fox News. And I didn't get a chance to watch uh, uh, ABCs this week and, and, and meet the press and stuff, but I'm sure they were lying about – they were probably talking about printer guns too. Ah, they're gonna, things are going to be bad, these printer guns, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's such a bunch of fake news actually when it comes down to including Fox, which is a shame because there, there are only alternative besides talk radio. And so and we're going to talk a little bit about that. And I also want to bring up my solutions to the police car chases that result in tragedies. It, it, this could be eliminated. It's all they got to do is listen to me, for God's sakes. Also, about policemen being killed, like this poor kid, uh, rookie that got killed by his own gun, and a policeman having to kill people who are acting crazy. And, uh, and, and there should be a different there should be some other alternative to shooting people down for gosh if you can if you can help it 
and 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 also traffic flow and uh, gridlock in the in in the in the cities. I have a solution for that too. I just don't know why the government is not coming to me and getting these solutions. Put, you know, it's, it's all I got to do is suggest it to them, and they should see the logic of it. So I've got all that coming up on the plate here, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna have the boys call in, and we're gonna and we're gonna talk about it. And then of course I have my books, the reading uh, stuff that I want to recommend, and uh, talking about fake news. I have a, a short story by Aldous Huxley. I don't know if listeners probably know. Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. Well, he has a short story exposing the fake news back in 1930. And we'll be right back. What does hope mean to you? Is it taking that extra step or just standing up? Is it running that extra mile or just walking down the stairs? Everyone defines hope differently. But at Surgenics, we want you to ask for more. We're giving hope back to patients by pioneering the next generation of medicine. Leveraging unprecedented quality, safety, and value, our products represent our vision that treatment can be different, that it can rekindle hope. Every member of our staff is dedicated to the vision that hope can be more than a dream for tomorrow, but with passion and commitment can be something we can pioneer today. Welcome to Surgenics, where hope isn't a concept, it's a reality. Welcome back to Need to Read. I'm your host, Alon, here at the KFNX Independent Talk Radio Studios in downtown Phoenix at 3rd Street and Palm Lane. And we're going to, uh, we're going to have, uh, my, uh, grand, two grandsons come on. Are you guys on? Oh, okay. They're not on just yet, but if you want to, if you want to comment on what we talk about, uh, call in on our listener line and you can talk to me and the boys all at the same time. We're all going to be on the line here. They're supposed to call in on the, on the in- interview lines here and they'll both be on the line. Our call in number 602-277-5369. That's 602-277-5369 or toll free 1-866-536-1100. Um, and, um, I was, uh, talking about, uh, the, uh, fake news and, and, and watching Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace and his interview with, uh, John Bolton and how he was grilling John Bolton and why doesn't, uh, why doesn't President Trump come right out and tell, tell, uh, Putin, now cut it out. Oh, no, no, wait, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, Obama. I told him to cut it out. Well, what did it's Wallace suggest that, uh, Trump say it was, uh, it was, uh, I wasn't, uh, wasn't cut it out. It was something else that was just as stupid. Now stop it or something. Like, like that would have really helped. It was, it's probably better that he, he's playing Putin along, chummy chumming with him all the while. The, our, our, you know, the, our, 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 our services are, are uh, doing what they need to do to, uh, to, uh, counteract what Russia's doing. And, uh, and so, you know, I, I just think it's better not, for Trump not to be confronting Putin and, uh, on, why do that? Why just let him think that everything's cool and, you know, we got our spies out there doing what we got to do. And it's probably, probably just good that way. Are, uh, are the boys calling in yet? Huh? I hear nothing in my ears, so maybe they haven't called in yet. If you boys are listening, if you will call in at those those numbers I, I texted you, then uh, then they'll put you in the system, and then we can you can comment on. In, in the meantime, in the meantime, uh, Nor- Norman will put you in the system when you when you call in, guys, and and then we can talk, and then maybe somebody will want to call in and and talk about it, you know talk with you or me, or maybe they just want to listen. But like I said, you're welcome to call in and comment on anything I got to say, and that's two seven seven five three six nine six zero two two seven seven five three six nine. And I want to know. Now, at these three three D printer guns, they're not they're not complete guns. They don't have plastic barrels that can that can you can shoot a bullet out of. They got to put a metal barrel in it, right? So how could it be of any real danger? And yet that that really never came up. This guy Cody Wilson, who is putting those uh, those uh, uh, blueprints out online, he's been doing other things like this too. You know, because it's it's free to do. I mean, he's free to do it. It's not illegal. He said that he's putting the requisite. The, the requisite amounts of metal in his guns so that they are detectable through metal detectors. But he himself didn't say, is that a barrel? Is that a trigger? Is that a hammer? Obviously the barrel and the hammer got to be metal. I mean, 
what, how else could it be? So it's, it's not a complete gun. Besides that, those 3D printers are not cheap and it, it's, it's just a, a red herring to say that this is going to cause criminals to get guns and stuff like they can't go out and buy a gun, uh, illegal or not, just buy a gun to use. I mean, they don't care if it's an illegal gun or if it, if it's traceable, because it's not going to be traced back to them. It's going to be traced back to whoever bought the gun under the serial number. They had it stolen. It's been sold five or six times on the black market. <laughs> so, you know, it's all it's all a bunch of uh, fake news is what it really comes down to. And that's the other thing. They're saying, oh, Chris Wallace is getting all, uh, getting all. Uh, can I say butthurt on the radio? I think so. He's getting all butthurt and, and about, oh, you said the, the he, he accused Trump of saying the press was the enemy of the people. And then he even said the free press. He, he tried to throw that in. Well, that's a lie because he, Trump said the fake news is the enemy of the people. And I believe that's absolutely true. And, and, and then to say that they, they don't start wars, that Hearst guy, he started, he helped fire up, uh, public opinion for the, uh, for the Spanish American war. And so do, so do other newspapers and so do other, it's, it's, it's a lie to say, that newspapers don't try to influence toward violence. They do sometimes. Newspapers lie. News people lie. <laughs> Chris Wallace, the son of Mike Wallace, who worked for the station, who faked the explosion of the Ford pickup truck because one time a Ford pickup truck blew up when they got hit by uh, in the side. And they say, well, that must be because they blow up every time. Well, they tried to get them blow up. They couldn't get them to blow up. They kept running, in, running into their sides and they couldn't blow them up. So they rigged up an explosion. To put on camera, to pretend that they had made it happen. Is that lies or what? So, you know, boy, I tell you, don't tell me that there isn't fake news and that and they don't try to start wars. All right. So now my solution to uh, the uh, well, my solution to the tyranny of the world and the p- world peace is the civilized should conquer the earth and set the people free from the jackboot of tyranny. That's my solution to world peace. And that's the only time there ever will be world peace is when we good guys decide that we are going to vanquish those bad guys and quit playing around about it. It's, 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 we've been playing around it for hundreds of years and certainly in this century when we had the chance, a couple of chances, the, we had a chance to, to eliminate all the bad guys and we just supported them and now they're back in, they're back in force and actually challenging freedom, challenging it. And it's possible that they could take it away and they would be glad to. There's nothing they like. But I mean, look, look at Idi Amin. He had millions of dollars in a Swiss bank account. At Yasser Arafat, the big champion of the of the, the poor Palestinians, he had millions in his Paris bank accounts. Millions. Isn't that something? So solution to car chases. Chasing those guys around, letting them run into things and all that kind of it kill, it's, it's uh, re- ridiculous. They need to develop a dart or of some sort. You could maybe use shotgun uh, pellets and, and, and have a, 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 a transmitter embedded in, in, in some kind of dart or pellet. And as soon as that guy tries to run, you just shoot his car with it and he can't take it out because it's stuck in there with a, with a backward facing barb or something like that. And even if he, he wants to stop, he's got to stop and knock it off or something. He's got to stop or he's got to get out of the car. And then you just tune into those those transmitters and you find out where he's going and you put a little ambush up and that's it. There's no more of this chasing him around the damn city at high speeds. It's ridiculous. Now, th- that technology exists right now and it should be applied. And every every police car should have his have his tracker dart gun. And that should be that. So if an idiot tries to run from the cops, you shoot his you shoot his vehicle and and that's it. And he ain't getting away, and and he ain't gonna be running. He ain't gonna be running around. And you just back off too, make it like you're not even tracking him. And you know, I'm sure the word will be out that it's out there. It's still, but you know, criminals aren't that smart because they wouldn't be criminals if they were. Certainly not criminals running from the cops. You know, that's about the stupidest thing in the world to try to do. So it shouldn't be a big problem. It shouldn't be a big problem to do it. And that's the that's that's the solution to these ridiculous deadly car chases. And it should be done right now. And there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't be done. So are you, are you listening out there, police forces and government officials? Are you listening? I certainly hope so. And if you're not listening, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do something about it because that is the solution right there. Why in the world are we chasing these guys around the city at high speeds, endangering everybody? 
when we could just shoot a, 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 a transmit a tracking transmitter into them. Heck, shoot a couple of them in there just to make sure, you know. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Now, <clears throat> also, of course, last week and many weeks before, I've talked about, you know, magnetic nets that the, are deployed from a canister and they go over the, the criminal and then they close up slowly and they, and they also, you could also, um, uh, electrify them. So a taser, so if, the, if he didn't stop resisting, even after the automatic audible thing on the net would say over and over, you are under arrest. Please do not resist. You may harm yourself. Even if they don't listen to that, then you can go ahead and push the button on the taser part of the net and, and tase them into submission. Because you, know, you don't want them hurting themselves because then they're going to, you know, you don't want them hurting themselves no matter what. We don't want to beat up criminals. We don't do that. And, they, and, and that's a great thing. I know I'm talking to this girl from at work where I drive cars and stuff in, in the afternoons. And she's from Somali, Somalia. And we were talking, we were talking about the, uh, you know, what happens in those countries. Like, and she's saying, yeah, if you go to jail in Somalia, <laughs> you're, you're done for. It don't even matter why you went to jail. <laughs> because once you're in there, you, you're probably not getting out. And, and, and so it was, it was pretty funny. I remember years ago talking to a gentleman from uh, somewhere in Africa. I think it was, um, uh, I really don't remember. I think it was from Kenya. And his name was, uh, uh, Mak, uh, uh, Mak, uh, his name was, uh, oh gosh, I forget his name, uh, Mahmoud or something. Uh, <clears throat> he was a pretty cool kid. And we were talking about it. And he said, yeah, I had to leave because my dad was like, he was, he was, you know, some bureaucrat and, and, and he, he, the party he belonged to got voted out and, and it was like, we knew it was coming. And so he, we got, got out of there and the ones, the ones that didn't get out, they all got arrested just because they were in the, they were in the opposite party that lost. Everybody got arrested and thrown in jail. He said, we got lucky and got out of there. Lokman was, Lokman was his name. Lokman. That was his name. And he, that was, that was pretty funny. And that's the way it is in the rest of the world. And so that's why here in America, we're so spoiled. We don't even appreciate what we have. And that's why I encourage everyone to, to, to do those, you people that do appreciate what we have, do realize how fragile and, and, and blessed, and blessed we are. Uh, this freedom that we have is, it's such an incredible blessing. You need to really try to make everybody else aware of it and, and to proclaim that out and, and, and help me spread the word how we need to conquer the world. The civilized need to conquer the world and set the people free from the jackboot of tyranny. Pharmaceutical compounding is the art and science of preparing personalized medications. Compounding pharmacists are able to tailor each prescription to fit your individual needs as recommended by your physician. So when would a person get a compounded medication? Well, there are many reasons, but one could be is if a person was on a medication that was previously manufactured but is no longer available. In that case, we can order the raw active ingredient and make that medication right here in our state-of-the-art lab. Another possibility would be if a patient had an allergy or intolerance to any of the fillers and dyes within the manufactured drug. We can make that medication without those ingredients. Or perhaps a drug is particularly bitter. We have flavors and sweeteners that any child, adult, or animal will enjoy. Here at Community Clinical Pharmacy, we realize medication is not one size fits all. We offer competitive cash prices, accept most major insurances, and can deliver the medication right to your door. Our compounding pharmacists have over 100 years experience, and we have the knowledge and resources required to make clinical recommendations to you and to your physician. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 480-969-0600 or visit us at our website, communityclinicalrx.com.